Sit back, relax, grab a drink, and enjoy today's fall fashion. First, I want to tell you guys that I am going to be styling a pajama top, which is what you saw in the description and also I'm going to show you just a few key pieces that you will see kind of repeated throughout the video. The things that I got from Jessica London that you'll see in the video they were gifted to me. All the opinions are my own and then this bag right here from Teddy Blake London was also gifted to me but all the opinions on this will be my own as well. I'm obsessed with this color. This is so beautiful for fall like just this beautiful orange. All of the Teddy Blake bags are inspired by like designer brands so basically you can get the designer look for a fraction of the price and it is real Italian leather it's very soft you have the leather smell I've had the bag for a little over a week and I've stuffed it full multiple times because it's nice and big so I've been able to fit everything I ever need in there I don't feel like the bag is just gonna break even though the leather is on the thinner side you can tell that there is nice like craftsmanship to this there's a lot of stitching and the handles themselves are like very sturdy it does have this removable strap here that you could put and you could wear it across your body it hits me about my hip when it's across my body or just wear it on your shoulder which is awesome these are made in Italy you save yourself $20 by using code TB Justine 20 so definitely check that out if you are interested and like I said I will link it in the description box below so you will be seeing that bag styled throughout the video too and and then the infamous pajama top which has just been so much fun to style um, this one I actually got on clearance in like the very end of August early September and I just love it the colors are beautiful it goes literally perfect with this bag like that same shade of orange is in there so I just knew when I got the bag and when I had this I was kind of inspired to create this video honestly it's because the color palettes kind of like spoke to me and I just thought it'd be a fun challenge to like style a pajama top but actually make it an outfit that you would wear out of the house so you guys are going to see some of those looks in a moment and the last kind of stable piece that i'll talk about is a good scarf this one has some colors that i really love and that i kind of want to bring out in my wardrobe and i like that they're not just the like traditional fall colors but they can kind of just add a lot to your outfit and also just add some color to your outfit so those are all kind of like some recommendations for me for fall style is just getting a really nice statement bag a really fun scarf with a beautiful color palette and some kind of silky pajama top to really have fun with so let's start the fashion lookbook first way you see me wearing the pajama top is just with some black ripped jeans that I have and my white booties which are also infamous I love those white booties um, those exact ones are no longer available but I will link below two options that I found that are similar I, I just thought that this looked very chic and polished and you wouldn't really know that that was a pajama top it just looks so cute together and just a perfect fall outfit I really did feel like a boss lady in this one then I wanted to like kind of think out of the box a little bit here because this is something I don't really do that much but that's layering a button shirt underneath a sweater I think it's cute it's just like I said I don't really do it and this was kind of a perfect opportunity to do it I think this was fun it's great for like business business casual also just Go into Home Depot because I'm outside of Home Depot here. <laughs> then popping out that orange bag to bring out from the shirt. Like that is just magic right there. It just looks so pulled together. It's so chic but still effortless. I have my pull on jeans from Old Navy, the rock star. So comfortable. And then those are actually Avenue slip-on sneakers that I had from like two years maybe like a year and a half two years ago and of course my sassy sweater that if you've been watching me for a while you might remember from my stitch fix box back in like uh, I want to say that actually was almost a year I want to say it was actually almost a year ago box it was like last October I think wow time flies time literally flies and then this way is tucked into a skirt and I actually chose that one from my hot topic video I thought it'd be really fun to kind of like play the pattern mix of course we had to use the purse again because it brings out that orangey color which I love and then a trench coat which I was really excited about because it's actually my first ever trench coat just putting on a trench coat automatically makes you feel like powerful like you know if you already have one or if you've tried one you already know exactly what I'm talking about just gives you a very powerful look like 
I don't know. I just loved it and I know I'll be wearing it a lot. If you just get warm like me and you don't want a super heavy jacket but you need something a little bit warmer, this is perfect. And I thought it'd be fun to put some tights on since it was actually pretty chilly that day. Of course, my white booties, I just couldn't resist. Who says you can't wear white after Labor Day? Not this girl because I will be wearing those white booties whenever, all year long. I definitely felt very chic in that one, like I should be walking the runway in New York City. <laughs> This is the final way you'll see the pajama top style and then you'll we'll move on to some other fall looks. But this one was just kind of fun and funky. This might be my favorite way that I styled the pajama top. Um, I just thought it was cool, just kind of left open almost as like a kimono lightweight jacket. And then those ripped jeans with, again, I used those same shoes from earlier, but then I used those little fishnet stockings that I got that have the same pearls. So to kind of bring the pearls from the shoe onto the stocking and then the fishnet from the jeans onto the stocking as well. So, and then I wore the pearl necklace just to kind of like tie it all together. I love the look to me. It was so fun and funky. I just think all those ways just really show how versatile a pajama top could be. So basically just like don't limit yourself. If you see a pajama that you think is super cute that you feel like you could wear outside the house, wear it outside the house because I promise you, probably no one will even know. And even if they do, like who cares? You still look cute, so whatever. Now the next look I'm calling like my little snow bunny look because I have this beautiful cow neck white sweater from Jessica London and I thought it fit perfectly. It's long enough. It's comfortable. It's roomy without being too roomy. It's just so cozy having that cow neck. It gives you kind of the feel of a scarf but without going all the way to having a big chunky scarf if that's not your thing. Overall I still feel like this fits so good and I just put it with these jeans that I had that I thought would be fun because they have like the tuxedo on the side there. It just kind of gave it a fun different look and then those shoes are also from Jessica London which I love because they actually zip on the side. So that is just so fat friendly right there that you could just pop them on and zip them on zip them off so easy especially if you are going to wear them in the snow which you could because it is all like that wipeable material then it's just kind of nice to zip them on zip them off you know I love that the shoelaces have a little specks of gold so it just kind of gives it a little more fun a little more flavor to the look they're actually very comfortable too i wore them around and I felt very comfortable in them. They come in torrid wide, in case you didn't know, in case you didn't know about Jessica Lennon shoes. I get the, the WW size, that means like extra wide, I guess. <laughs> and that is like a true torrid wide, just so you know. Okay, who is sassy right now? Me. I love this because this is actually a dress that I got over the summer from a Nordstrom's Rack video. It's so comfortable and it's definitely on the shorter side, but it's still long enough where I think it works, especially paired with those Jessica London shoes. They go like right below my knee. If I had smaller calves, they would go above. I am ruching them just to so actually fit my calf. So if, like I said, if you have smaller calves, um, mine are 20 inches. One is 20 and one is like 21. <laughs> so just kind of for reference, if your calf is similar to mine, you should be able to wear them as well. You would just have to ruche them like I did, which I still think looks very cute though. I love the shade. It's a nice like neutral shade and the little gold ring at the side. An extra little touch to make it look a little more chic. I love these boots. I've already worn them so many times. If you follow me on Instagram, you've probably already seen them a few different times. They're just very comfortable and good for kind of whatever. And then that yellow cardigan from Just Cologne as well. It is super soft, super comfortable. This look to me is just very fun and playful. And then I wanted to show you guys another way to wear that beautiful cardigan. It's a more casual way. Now that top is actually from Torrid and then the pull on jeans from Old Navy. Those shoes are actually from Jessica London as well and they are snake print with like a gold metallic sheen to them. So pretty and they are wide and very comfortable. I actually wore them to the Jonas Brothers concert on Saturday, this past Saturday, and I was standing on my feet for four hours and yes, my feet were tired, but I think those shoes help me because they have an extra little cushion at the bottom. Highly appreciate because I need some comfort. And <laughs> that's why they call them their comfort view shoes because they really are comfortable. They don't look like they're comfortable shoes. They look very trendy. You can still feel comfortable and still also be fashionable, which what more could you really want? So my next look is this beautiful cobalt blue leather jacket. Beautiful jacket, very nicely constructed. And I thought it was fun to put it with that orange dress that I got from Pink Clove. And again, those same Jessica Lennon booties that you saw a couple looks ago. I just thought this look was really fun. I love playing around with the colors. And I had that one necklace that I got from Burlington like two years ago. It's so pretty. It has oranges and blues in it. So I thought it was perfect to kind of tie in 
the whole look together and I definitely felt very chic very like high fashion just kind of playing around with colors like that that is what I think is so fun is really just doing bold colors that not everybody would do it just really works and it just kind of makes your outfit look that much more elevated and just a lot more fun now this sweater dress I love even more on my body than I thought I would honestly when I ordered it I wasn't sure how much I was gonna love it because I wasn't sure where it was gonna hit me like on my body but I love the length because it's just below my knee so you still see enough of my leg where I feel like it looks really good on me also have a little bit more of coverage for the colder weather so it's perfect and then I got it in that beautiful they call it ultra blue it's so so good really loving blue lately and I had this purse that I really haven't used much but I thought that purse was literally perfect for this look and that one is a guest purse also a Ross find which I always love that too and the shoes that I'm wearing are also Jessica Lennon they are my go-to boot besides the white one it's like literally competing between these and the white booties they are just competing against each other this fall I love both of those shoes I think they are a must-have a little bit snug the first day I will say but literally within one day of wearing them they stretched out and they were perfectly comfortable so do keep that in mind if you get them and you're like, oh, these are a little snug at first. They stretched out so well for me with literally the first day that I wore them. 10 out of 10 recommend these ones. Another way to wear that fun jacket, I just had to do it with the white booties. And these pants are actually from Jessica London. I like that they have the slit in the front. It just makes it kind of fun and a little bit different than your normal slack. These are like pull-on slacks though, so they're very comfortable. They literally feel like leggings, but they aren't. They look more professional. You look more pulled together. And then this t-shirt I had, I thought was going to be fun because I could wear that same purse that you guys saw in the last look and kind of pull out the green from the purse as well. And I just really love the colors with this. It's kind of like a low-key Seahawks fan look. <laughs> Basically NFL, but make it fashion. That's what I'm calling this look. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm calling this one definitely a fun one and again that jacket's just such a great standout piece to kind of just pop out any outfit Whew. now this one here comes those booties again of course love the leopard booties and I'm literally see it's literally going back and forth right now that's so funny the dress is from Fashion Nova if you saw my last Fashion Nova video and that vest also from Fashion Nova I thought they look so good together with the booties just to kind of give me a little pattern and then I wore that torrid hat which I love so much it is so cute and I just think this whole outfit is so much fun so good I highly recommend getting that vest from Fashion Nova it's been such a fun piece to wear in style and it fits really nicely it is a 3x I really did feel cute in this look for sure and there's them booties again I love them already you guys already know these jeans are my American Eagle black jeans that you guys saw if you saw my denim video so comfortable highly recommend they do run tight though so maybe consider getting a size up in the black because I tried in case you didn't see the video I did try three different shades of the American Eagle jeans all in a size 24 but the blacks definitely fit the tightest so um, I would maybe get one size bigger in the blacks only just because they seem to fit a lot tighter than the other shades and I'd heard that from other people as well. So I felt like this outfit was like the epitome of like edgy chic because that blouse is so dressy and so beautiful. It's so beautifully structured also from Jessica London and it looks so nice how it has the tie in the front. But then, you know, with the booties and the fun sunglasses and the Game of Thrones purse, you just kind of look fun, hold together and chic at the same time. So this is definitely one of my more recent favorite looks. I have to say, I love it. Time to bust out that scarf a little bit. I love this one. I wore those same jeans from earlier. A black leather jacket I got a couple years ago from Elaine Bryant and his white booties and the beautiful purse. I love this because we just have a blank canvas of black and white and then we did the scarf and the purse. This is a great example of what I was talking about is having kind of those statement pieces that kind of pull each other together. Basically it allows you to create a look very easily. See this would have been cute on its own right? Would have been cute still with just the white tank and the leather jacket, the jeans, and the boots. But then once I put the scarf with the bag, I instantly look a lot more elevated. I look a lot more pulled together. So I love this one so much. I felt very fun and flirty in this. Now this look might be my favorite look of fall. I think it might. I am up 
obsessed. I am wearing a hat from Torrid, this ripped crop denim jacket that I got from Hot Topic last summer. Then I'm wearing the skirt from Torrid, a Old Navy white tank tucked in, yellow belt from Torrid, and the boots are from Jessica London, which I love. They have a small little wedge. They already come crinkled, which is great for calves because you can crinkle them a little more to like your liking to where they would fit. On me, they went a little bit below the knee. The color is absolutely beautiful, almost the same shade as my lipstick, so I had fun kind of playing around with that. And then I decided to kind of pull a little bit of the burgundy red from the scarf and wear that as well. And, and then I had to finish it off with the bag. So I feel like this look is just so fun. Just a, again, a great way to just kind of play around with some colors. I feel like I need to go to the pumpkin patch. I feel like I needed to do all the fall festivities in that look. I just felt very sassy and cute. That's when you know you have a good outfit. Like no matter who else thinks the outfit's cute, you feel so good in it. That is really all that matters at the end of the day. That is what really makes any outfit is the confidence and the way you care carry yourself in the outfit and in this one I had that confidence and here is my last look this is so much fun I'm wearing a slip dress slip dresses slips and slip dresses are becoming like the rage I feel like which is so fun understatedly sexy I paired it with those same boots which I think are so fun to kind of give a really nice pop of color to this kind of otherwise blank canvas but I decided to keep it really chic and just do the one pop of color that kind of matched the lips so it's kind of a bold move you had a little brightness here and a little bit down at the feet as well just kind of pull it together and then that jacket really just set the whole mood off I love that jacket that exact one is sold out that from Nordstrom's rack I got on the anniversary sale if you saw that video during summer y'all ready no but it's so beautiful so chic but I tried a very similar one on at Torrid in my last Torrid video and I will link that in the description box below if you want to get a jacket very similar to this one that one is definitely the most similar one that I have personally found so that's probably my biggest style video to date I think um, I hope you guys enjoyed it I thought it would be fun to kind of show you how important accessories really can be and how they really can make an outfit and also just the funness of playing around with the pajama top as well just you know fashion is all about like thinking out of the box and kind of pushing those boundaries of what we all like know to be true I know a lot of people have told me when I've mentioned about shopping in the men's department they, they told me that they never thought about doing that because you know I never thought about doing that till I got older because no one ever told me like that was okay but like there's no set rules and I know some people have their set rules but I personally don't follow any rules when it comes to fashion I just do whatever makes me feel good and what I like and that always is changing I like trendy things I like classic things I just love it all like so many different styles in fashion can be appreciated and enjoyed so just have fun with it and um, like I said carrying confidence in your outfit is literally really is what's gonna make your outfit no matter what you wear so you are beautiful just the way you are and I would love to hear what looks you guys love the most and if you're going to snag any of the items in the video. Anything that you can still buy from the video, I will link in the description box below so you can go ahead and see what's down there. And maybe we can be twinning. I'm such a nerd when it comes to twinning. Like, literally. All of my closest friends can tell you that is 100% true. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. And remember, to just be you. Bye, guys. Last video song was Dolly Parton, 925, which a lot of you got, which I mean, I'm very happy because that means you guys are vibing with me. We love Dolly. We love the movie and we love the song. It's such a good song. I don't know. I just, I love the song. So this video's song lyrics are when your legs don't work like they used to before and I can't sweep you off of your feet. Will your mouth still remember the taste of my love so comment below if you know what song that is without using google i wear my pajamas everywhere because i i don't care <laughs> and i want to be so silky smooth orange you glad to see me <laughs> still here watching this right now i just want you to know in all sincerity even though I'm not seeming very sincere right now because I'm also not someone who can be serious that often. But I saw this quote today that really stuck with me and I just wanted to share it. If you follow me on Instagram, you already probably saw it, but I just want to share it here also. Here is Idea Crippling. 
experience crushing, a success stalling inhibitor inflicted only by oneself. Which, I don't know, it just really hit me hard because I know I used to live a lot of my life in fear of what people would think and what would happen and, you know, just all this fear, really. And so I just want to encourage you, if you are living in fear, to try to do your best to do something that scares you because it does get easier over time. I've said this before, but I will say it again. I definitely have my days where I feel self-conscious, too. It's nobody is going to feel confident 100% of the time, no one. And if they tell you that, they're lying because no one feels 100% great every single day. But what you can do is work and fight those fears and work to be your best self. Now I'm gonna hop off my soapbox. <laughs> Peace, guys.